So here is a very interesting question that many of our students have reached out to us and asked. So we thought we'll make a video for the benefit of everyone. So the big question here is, what should you do in if in GATE CS 2020 if you are getting more than 55 marks, right? So what, what, what should be your next steps? Again, there might be some students who are close to 55 marks. There might be other students who are significant, who have scores which is which are significantly higher than 55 marks. So they get any institute of their choice, right? So let's go step by step. First, case one. Okay, I'll try to handle these cases step by step. Let's assume you are getting around 55 marks. Could be 53 marks up to 60 marks, right? What I would strongly recommend is, since the gate exam just got over, I would request you to prepare for other top institute exams that, that happen over the next couple of months. For example, IIIT Hyderabad, which is a very good institution in India, almost comparable to most top IITs, they have a PG entrance exam. They have also made an announcement. We have put on our website more details about the IIIT Hyderabad exam pattern. Please go check it out. Similarly, you should prepare for ISI Kolkata, BITS and IIIT Delhi. IIIT Delhi hires students both through gate exam and their own exam, right? So first and foremost, if you're very close to 55 marks, I recommend that you try for these institutes also, right? Two things can happen again here. You get into one of these institutes. Let's assume you get into IIIT Hyderabad. Great. Just go join. It's a phenomenal institution. It's one of India's best institution, especially in terms of software engineering and placements. Also, their research is pretty good nowadays, right? So let's assume you can't, you could not crack these also. Worst case, let's assume worst case, right? If you could not get these also, you can still get admissions in some good universities like IIIT Bangalore and IIIT Allahabad. Now the big question here is, should you join these institutions, right? Or should you drop a year? I'll come to that in a little while. I would strongly recommend that if you get an admission at IIIT Bangalore or IIIT Allahabad to join and not drop a year. I'll justify that with numbers in a little while. Okay, so this is one case. So if you're around 55 marks, please prepare for this. If you could crack these, please feel free and please go and join these institutions. Worst case, you'll get institutions like IIIT Bangalore, IIIT Allahabad, which are also very good, which are fast becoming some of the good institutions in India, especially from a placement standpoint, right? Next, second case is you're getting greater than 60 marks, which means you get into top NITs, NIT Warangal, Suratkal, Trichy, etc or you get into some of the old IITs or IASC. If you have like, if you're 75 plus marks or 70 plus marks, if you're in the top 100 ranks, very good chance you'll get into IASC or IIT Bombay, some of the top institutions there. So if you're, it's a, this is basically saying you're happy with what institutions you get. Again, so whether you get good NITs or good old IITs or IASC, please go ahead and join them. Now, before you join, you have three, four months time. In these three, four months, I strongly recommend that you prepare, you become a better programmer. Pick up a modern programming language like Python or Java. Become a better programmer. Become good in data structures algorithms. Again, what you may have learned for Gate is much more simple than what, what top product-based companies expect in data structures algorithms and programming from students. Again, most of these top institutions have internships. Very, some of them have very good internships. There, again, if you join as an intern, you can get a pre-placement offer without even sitting through the whole placements uh, game, right? Of course, most of them have very good placements. All of the top product-based companies, whether it's Microsoft, Amazon, all of these top institutions go to, uh, all of these top product-based companies go to all the top NITs, top IITs and IAC for placement. So it really doesn't matter which of these institutions that you go to, because, especially if your focus is placements. If your focus is research, the game changes again, right? But if your focus, which is what, when we talk to our students, majority of our students say that their focus is placements. And if placements is your focus, it really doesn't matter which of these institutions go to. What matters is what you do after you go there. You have to become really, really good at programming data structures algorithms. And I would recommend that over the next three to four months, I strongly recommend you spend time becoming good at it. Because once you join these institutions, the coursework will be an additional workload for you. Again, what, what, what are these top product-based companies looking for? They'll give you a problem around dynamic programming or graphs and things like that. Again, if you just Google search for interview questions at Amazon or interview questions at Google, you'll get hundreds of interview questions. Given any of the interview questions, what these companies expect you to solve is given a problem, 
typically a dynamic programming or a graph algorithm or even using some trees or anything like that. They expect you to solve the problem from the time they tell you the problem to the time you write working code in a modern programming language. They expect you to solve this in 20 to 25 minutes per problem. So you have to be a good programmer. You have to have very good problem solving skills around the data structures and algorithms. Since you've already cracked gate, I'm assuming that your understanding of basic data structures algorithms are good. So now you have to go up, go up in the skill set and become a good programmer who can write working code in 20 to 25 minutes. Speed is important and so is your problem solving skill and programming skill. This is something that I recommend everyone because once you get into the institutions, coursework will, will be a workload. So if you can become good at it right here, when you have internships after your first year or placements in your second year, you're much better prepared. Especially, this is very important if your focus is placements. Additionally, if you want to specialize in a topic, this is what I recommend every student who is doing masters, pick up one area and become good at it. That area could be cutting edge areas like machine learning, big data. It could even be databases. It could be operating systems, any sub area of computer science. Pick one of them and become good at it during your masters. Because skills like machine learning, becoming good at distributed systems will go a long way in your career, right? So your first priority is programming data structures algorithms because that will be immediately used in your internships and placements. Second, think of which area you want to specialize, right? So this is what I recommend all the students who are joining these top institutions or who have a very good chance of getting into these top institutions. Okay, next, a very common question that we get is, I'm getting around 55 marks, around 55 marks, which means most likely I'll get into, let's say, IIIT Bangalore. Let's say you, you wrote the exams for IIIT Hyderabad, ISA, Kolkata, etc. You did not get this, uh, get better institutions. So let's say you, you get into, let's say, IIIT Bangalore or IIIT Allahabad. Versus you could say, okay, which means if you, if you join these institutions in academic year 2020, you'll graduate in 2022. Versus you could say, I want to drop a year I'm very sure that I can get IIT Bombay or IASC next year. So you're dropping one year. Remember, you're dropping one year. And there is no guarantee that you'll get better marks next year. But as a wishful thinker, and pro probably you're willing to work hard, let's assume best case you get into IASC or IIT Bombay. You're dropping one year, so you're going to graduate in 2023. Now, what we recommend is not to drop a year. Very clearly. And there's a reasoning behind it. Like, let me explain this. Again, this is coming from our team's work experience in the industry. Okay, our team has done tons of interviews. We have worked, some of us have even worked for a decade in the industry, having done hundreds of interviews for candidates at top product-based companies. Right, this is our advice from coming from the industry. Right, so let's assume you graduate from IIIT Bangalore. Again, IIIT Bangalore is becoming very, very popular. It's generating some very good students with good software engineering skills. So all top product based companies like your Microsoft, Amazon, all these companies are going to IIIT Bangalore also. So if you join at IIIT Bangalore in 2020, work hard for two years. And if you become very good in data structures, algorithms, etc., there's a very good chance that you'll get into Microsoft, Amazon, top product based companies, which is what will happen even if you go to IIT Bombay or IASC, most likely. It is the same Microsoft, Amazon, Google type of companies that come here also. So now, if you join Microsoft, Amazon, or any of the top product-based companies in 2022 versus 2023, you have one year advantage here. You have one year advantage, which is very, very important because real world experience in a company is very, very critical for your long-term growth, right? So I recommend, again, if you work hard for these two years, because you are anyway planning to work hard by dropping one more year. Instead of putting that effort on Git, put that effort in becoming a better programmer, better data, better data structures algorithms. Very likely you'll crack Microsoft, Amazon, all top product based companies. And you have a one year advantage, which can mean a lot. And in the long run, please understand that in the long run, in the long run of your career, after three years of your graduation, nobody cares about whether you graduated from a IIIT or IIT. People ask you, what have you done in the last couple of years? Have you worked at a company like Amazon in a very interesting team like web services? What have you done in the last couple of years? Again, some of us have almost a decade plus of experience in the industry. When, when we go for interviews, nobody asks us, where did you graduate? What is your grade? Nobody cares about it in the long run. 
So it is better to gain the one year advantage by joining IIIT Bangalore and working hard to get placed than dropping a year. Right? I, I hope you get this, get this comparison. So if you're getting into any of these good institutions, again, we have made a detailed video comparing various institutions, their placements and all of that. I'll provide a reference link to that in the comment section and the description section. Right. So we have done a very detailed comparison video of all the major top 20, 30 institutions in India. Right. So if you're getting around 55 marks, please don't drop a year. If you get admits at good places like AAAT Bangalore, it is better to put that effort in becoming a better programmer, better at data structures algorithms than repeating the same thing and preparing one more year for get because the skills as a good programmer will help you in the long run in your career. Right. So please don't fall into the trap that Okay, I should graduate from an IIT. In the long run, it doesn't matter, to be honest with you. Your skills, the market value of your skills and the previous company that you worked on or the previous product that you worked on matters more than the institute you come from three years after you graduate, right? So I hope some of your most important questions have been clarified. Most importantly, if there is one thing that you want to take away from this video, please become a better programmer, better at data structures algorithms, if time permits, also learn design patterns if time permits if if it doesn't per permit at least become be become a better programmer become a data structures algorithms